How's it going guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews and this is my review for Raging Bull. This is Robert De Niro week here on the channel and uh, I... Uh, I have to say, I don't particularly like the Jake LaMotta character. I, I've seen this movie a ton of times, and though I do like the story, I don't like the character. He is a flawed character, but not a flawed character in an entertaining way. He's a flawed character in a moronic way way like right when he's getting success he immediately thinks oh he's fucking my wife and all this shit and because he's such a moron all he thinks he can do is hit that's it which makes the scene in the in the jail more poignant because he doesn't know what to do so he just decides to start hitting the wall and pounding his head against the wall I don't like this character. I really don't. I love Robert De Niro, and Robert De Niro kills it in this role. He really does. But personally, I don't like this character. I'm not even a fan of the Joe Pesci character, his brother. But I have more of a lenience towards his brother, especially when Jake comes into his house and starts beating him in front of his kids. Like, there's no going back after that. If one of my brothers came into my house... And started beating me in front of my wife and my kids and stuff like that. You're never going to see me or hear from me if I can again. Because you're a goddamn scumbag and I want nothing to fucking do with you. Uh, Kathy Moriarty who plays LaMotta's wife. Uh, I do like her. She is fabulous and she is gorgeous in this movie. Uh, we have Frank Vincent playing Sal. We have Nicholas Costa Costa Santani. Tino, uh, who is, uh, who plays coach from Cheers, and th this movie, this movie's great, it, it, it is a great movie, because the cinem cinematography during the fights and everything is absolutely stunningly great, and you can even take away that, like, there's no back, real back and forth, it's just, hey, stand there, react, react to what I'm doing. But you can also tell that he's not really coming close enough to him for him to react right. <sighs> to react right. So he's kind of just standing there, right? And then the, the scene with Sugar Ray Leonard at the end where he just keeps taking hits and hits and hits and hits and hits and hits and hits. And, hits. and the blood just spewing all over the audience, the crowd and all this stuff. And Jake's big thing, instead of winning, Jake's big thing is, oh, you couldn't even knock me down. And then we see, we go, we go to the future, which is his decline in life and everything else. And then when he sees his brother again, he, you can tell his brother doesn't want anything to do with him. And his brother's just trying to kind of pity him a little bit here and everything. I know the Jake LaMotta character is right up there with Rocky and everything else in the annals of boxing movies but yeah i just didn't like the character i think he was just too dumb for my liking which kind of rocky is the same way but overall scorsese knocked it out of the park with this movie this movie came, this movie came out the same year i was born which makes it a 40 43 year old movie i'm not 44 yet which is crazy i mean which is great this is still a great movie and de niro's amazing in it that's why I picked it. Where does this lie on my five-star review scale? The story is a four. The cinematography is a four. The characters are 3.5. And the design is a 3.5. Which brings our total to a respectable 3.75. Let me know down below. Have you guys seen Raging Bull? Are you a Robert De Niro fan? I definitely am. Uh, I'd sure love to have a, con a conversation down below. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, help us grow in 2024. We just hit 1,202 subscribers. 
and I'm loving it. We've been wavering between that mark for so long and finally hit that mark and I love it. Let's get the 300 and I will see you in my next review. Bye.